Hi guys, welcome to the outdoors. We are here at the Bushcraft Camp. Uh, if you want to see how I built this camp, by the way, check out my Bushcraft playlist on YouTube. We have got a nice cup of tea. I've got one in my cook set. Dad got, Dad's got one in his uh, ultra old school ancient cup. Picnic plastic, plastic, that one. Yeah, we've got the fire going and we've got the uh, tea boiling as well for some more tea later. Um, well, we're English, we are English. We're going to have more than one cup of tea. It's all about tea here. We've also got the dog mm. who's now chewing up a stick here in camp. Um, we bring him every now and then to the camp. And he sometimes he enjoys it, sometimes he just wants a bit of food, really, but... Put that tree down! Yeah. <laughs> now, I've got a little bit of a surprise. Listen, I'm not a bushcrafter, I am just somebody who likes going out in the woods, do a bit of camping, a bit of cooking, enjoying the outdoors. I reckon there's millions of you out there. But I sort of got caught up in it I wonder what this was when you... What is yeah, that? Mike hasn't seen this. He he hasn't had it. He's been it. hiding it from me on the way he to camp. He hasn't seen it, it's taken me a while. I'm not sure if this is the only thing in existence. We are talking basic primitive. We are not talking making an implement, let's mm. say in a forest situation, because don't forget, there's going to be bushcraft and survival, etc., in desert areas. Hot water, tropics. Tropics, me, sunshine, fish, big fish. Wait till you see this knife, guys. I've not seen this. No way. Shark teeth. Tiger shark teeth. Shark teeth. That is awesome. Are these from when you caught? Yeah, about 30 odd years ago, yeah, have one. What? And uh, the jaws. I had it in the garage of the jaws, as you do. Look at that. And uh, the jaws just like fell to pieces. I've got several shark jaws that have been preserved and we tag and release most of our sharks. In fact, all of them now, but this was like 35 years ago and uh, the skipper wanted to bring one in. I guess they sell them, I don't know, years ago. And I just don't like wasting anything. So I thought, ah, oh, such a shame because although the jaw breaks down, the teeth don't. Yeah, and they're immaculate, you what, aren't they? And I've, and I've, Sharp. I've made it out of wood. I've stained it a true bushcraft colour. Have you done a film on it? Have you made... Well, yeah. So oh, we've yeah. got an episode on how to make this at some point, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to test it out, because I think it, that is awesome. It cuts. Trust me, it's a shark. <laughs> they bite £2,000 per square inch, some of them, or some ridiculous figure. And these are serrated edge the teeth on here. Yeah. It will only cut, I feel, one way. Yeah. Now, guys, I've tried it a couple of times. It's frightened me. Really? really? It yeah. feels sharp. I like don't it. want to push it the other way because I've glued these all in here. I've cut a groove in the wood, but put the teeth in there. Let's show you a piece of paper and I'll show you if it will cut through a piece of paper. What do you think, Mike? It's I, not, I it's not one of your bushcraft knives. It's strange because it doesn't feel sharp, but I can feel no. the serrated teeth. Yes. The mini, tiny, loads of mini serrated teeth on the actual teeth themselves. So it's only worth a, a try, I think. Will it cut the paper? How many? Is that a wad of paper? It's just a newspaper yeah. folder. Let's just see if it cuts. Yeah. Oh gee, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty sharp. I'm only pulling that. If I press hard, shred it. It's like Wolverine. That's gone through the first sheet there. Look. Oh dear. Oh dear, folks. One, two, three, four. That's awesome. Five, I know. I didn't think it was that sharp. Six, seven, eight. No way. Nine. Gone through nine and I'm only using that. I'm only using finger pressure like you use on a yeah. on a knife to cut. I don't think it will cut that way. I'm shredding it. Look at the bits coming off. Like a saw. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even I haven't done that because I didn't I didn't basically want to break the teeth of it, guys. I thought, will that cut? No. Do you way. know what? Do dare, I, dare I dare I try it again? Off with her head. I saw the old lady's head off. <laughs> We're all childish in here. That's, so it soars I, as well? No, it soars both ways, which I yeah. find absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Mrs. But, oh God, it's gone through her twice. It's gone through her twice. Oh, it's gone through her three times. That's whole newspapers. Look, 10 past 30 pages. That's 40 pages. Wow. 50 pages. That's amazing. 60 pages. <laughs> and it's marked 70 pages thick. But even better than that, guys, I've got one of these. So here we are, I've got one of these. Now you might think, well it's alright cutting through paper, it's not going to be much use practically, is it? Is it? Is it not? I'm going to be exceedingly... I'm going to roll my sleeves up. Someone down here, this little dog, where is he? I yeah, think you smell can, this you can smell it. Get this, by the there. way guys, is a mackerel which we're going to cook and eat. If I don't, if we're going to cook and eat this, I have a fair chance if I slip, I'm going to cook and eat my fingers as well. Go away dog, yeah? He smells it. Oh my god, he cuts it. It's gutting it. That's I'm barely touching it, look, I'm barely touching it. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> do you know what? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the guts out of this anyway, look. Let's go, watch, go. Watch, watch out, because someone's right there. There's one right here who likes gutted <laughs> raw fish. That's what I call a survival dog. Hey, listen, he's a Jack Russell, he would survive. So anyway, we're gonna gut this, gonna put it on. I was gonna cook it whole, but do you know what? I'm gonna try and cut that head off. I won't cut through bone. Not my bone, hopefully. No way, that's not country. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. What? Oh, yes, it does. Look at it, it looks like a proper shark. I won't give it to the wife to wash, but as you can see, that's gone through bone, gristle, fish, everything. One thing to do with this, in the frying pan, let's not waste it. Well guys, that fire's burnt down, it's still very, very hot. And you can see that fish is cooked there. Ow, it's hot, look at that, beautiful white meat underneath. And you rarely get a better tasting fish than a mackerel. Mmm, it certainly smells fishy. <laughs> it smells good. Mackerel. You could put lemon on this sometimes as well. Yeah, you could, bring, you could bring but... lemon with you. If we drop it, the dog's gonna have it. Oh, that's good. Primitive eating and primitive cutting, but effective. Mm. Mm. A little tip here guys, I think a lot of people know about it, I made this out of a piece of zinc waste pipe, put a cone of metal on the end, taped it, it's unbelievable for relighting a fire when it's low, like this, is, obviously we've eaten the fish, and I'll just blow this gently, one breath, Well, I have to admit that I'm pretty used to the Scandi grind knives, uh, your sort of standard bushcraft knives, but I am really impressed with that. That is, or could be, the ultimate in primitive technology. You tell us what you think. Could you make one yourself? What would you use for cutting implements?